The iPhone 5C. Considered to some as a flop from Apple, it was a very different move from them with their common premium design and materials. And in today's video, we're going to go back and take a look at the 5C. Released on the 20th of September 2013, this phone was released alongside the 5S. But the 5C didn't use the same specs as the 5S. It would use older hardware from a previous generation iPhone 5 a year back, with the exception being the iPhone 5C supporting 4G. Released with an MSRP in the UK for £469 for the 16GB model, and the 5S 16GB being £549, it didn't really make a load of sense on release. The 5S carries over the tradition in design as the 5, using aluminium materials whereas the 5C uses polycarbonate over steel design. There is in my opinion a definite quality difference in these two phones but I believe Apple was trying to target a more younger audience as these phones were released in some vibrant colours that nobody at the time saw on a smartphone. The 5C came in five different colours consisting of blue, pink, yellow, green and white. One thing that annoyed people with this phone is it only received four major iOS updates from iOS 7 at release to iOS 10, which means that although it can run more apps than an iPhone 4S, the apps on the App Store are limited, whereas the 5S received six iOS updates from launch all the way up to iOS 12. As standard, the 5C came with an Apple A6 processor, one gig of RAM, and a four inch retina screen with around 60% screen to body ratio. What is interesting is the only storage options available for this phone was 8GB, 16GB and 32GB. The one I'm using currently is 8GB and I can assure you that just a few apps and photographs, let's say a week of use, the phone will be full of storage making this difficult to use. So on the left side of the phone you've got your volume up and down buttons with the silent switch, with the polycarbonate materials following it all the way around the phone. On the bottom we got our speaker grill, lightning port and the long lost headphone jack. And at the top we got our power button. Now I wanted to see if this phone could run YouTube, which it could and surprisingly well. In a previous video with the iPhone 4S, the phone would fail to load up a YouTube video. Also to note is that the battery life held ok with it being a 1510mAh, but that's not to say all iPhone 5Cs used will be like this. Now I do understand that these phones may still look appealing to some, but there are far better options out there. For what this phone offers today, it would be difficult to use as a daily driver due to the limitations and software. If you are in the market for a small 4 inch iPhone, I will link a review at the top right of this to my iPhone SE first generation video, which is absolutely crazy, in a good way. The phone supports the latest iOS, uses the same specs as a 6S and near enough can be bought used online with it costing similar to the 5C and completely outperforming the phone, even beating some of today's mid-range smartphones. I hope you've enjoyed looking back at the iPhone 5C. If you liked our video give us a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell icon to be notified of more upcoming videos. Even check our channel out where we post tech videos. Until then we'll see you in the next one.